I just uh, I just needed more time to think about it if I really wanted to, wanted to do the role. Pero I when I uh, I just kept scanning through the script and everything and yeah, eventually nagkusuhan ko yung role talaga. So yeah, uh, that's what I that's what I went through. Um, ako naman po, I didn't hesitate to uh, accept the role because again, this is a new experience for me and a new project for for me to do. And I was uh, super excited po talaga to do it. And the way I prepared my role po, I guess, again, I auditioned him po for uh, my role here as a movie. Um, so I got to talk with uh, Direct Bobby and other cast po. And I guess the best help that I had was tinulungan po nila ako paano po i, how to understand the character itself and just also gave me the freedom to uh, learn and portray my character po. And siguro <laughs> bilang sundot lang, Kate, Gusto ko lang din tanongin kay, kay Sir Bobby, kay Direct Bobby. Bobby, what was the process like in casting both Jameson and Joao? Bakit itong dalawang ito? Um, sorry. Mas- Hello? Hello? Yes, Bobby. We can yes, hear you. Sorry. Ayan, sorry. Ah. Um, ayun, actually, ang haba ng prosesyo nung pinagdaanan after writing the script and... Um, and finding the right fit for the for the roles. Uh, ang hirap eh, kasi nag-auditions kami, nag-offer kami to, ano, to sit dif- different people. Yung iba, nag-auditions, and then, um, kasi yung, yung klase ng characters at yung klase ng role na pinoportray is, um, minsan hindi madaling tanggapin ng ibang mga artista. Parang ganun. Um, parang there, there's some hesitations in certain, uh, in certain aspects, ganyan. And I'm just glad that itong si Joao and si Jameson, nung when they auditioned and when we saw them and when I saw them fit for the role, um, ang tapang nila, eh, kasi right on, right on tinangkap nila to. And and at the same time, ang initial na reaction nila is yes, I'm happy to take on this challenge. And paano ko ba, paano ko ba mabibigyan with good ju- with justice and respect itong mga characters na to. I see. Ang nice ng story. Kate, mo may follow-up question ka pa. Oh, curious ako between the two of you, paano yung pinag-usapan nyo ba? Kasi magpapakilig kayong dalawa eh. Pinag-usapan nyo ba yung gagawin? Tapos, kumusta yung naging experience talaga nung nag-shoot na? Um, uh, okay. Wait, kaming dalawa ni Joao? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, you wanna start first? Or... Yeah, yeah. Is it okay? Ako na. Yeah, so, na. ako naman po, I was super happy na I was gonna be working with uh, Jameson po dahil Again, um, we know each other na po. We knew each other for quite some time na po. And I guess it was easy na po kasi since we know each other na, we, do, we didn't have to break the ice or anything, you know. We know each other and we know uh, what the story is about. And I guess, yeah, we did talk about certain things. But at the same time, what really helped out a lot was um, how direct Bobby was always there supporting us and helping us out and also guiding us throughout each scene po. So, ayun po. Yeah, so basically, yung sinabi ni Joao, it was it was much easier for for us because uh, mm-hmm. I need to build chemistry because we're already friends and so it wasn't uh, hard for us. And like yung sinabi ni Joao, Derek also helped us because we just need to do some adjustments because we were so used to like, um, for example, pag may mga love team or let's say uh, we had projects now with having a, a girl as a partner, we're so used to having, I mean, that kind of uh, state you know, parang love team. So, this is a bit different for this movie. So, ayun, konting adjustments lang. Pero we managed to pull it off and uh, I didn't have a hard time. Actually, enjoyed the experience. It was something new and I really enjoyed it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Kate. Kate. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat. That was Kate Adahar. Susunda naman siya ni Mr. Albert Abilido ng Chickeness. Hey! Albert. Mabuhay! Hi! Basta. I'm Albert. <laughs> Yeah, and congratulations to to every one of you. Um, I'll ask Thank first Joao. Joao, kasi this is your parang technically parang launching movie project mo, tama ba? Apo, apo. And so, how yeah. does it feel na parang finally um ito na may bago um lead star ka na. Pero ang catch <laughs> is yung role mo is hindi pang hindi parang hindi leading mat leading man yung dating ganon. Um. Ano kumo stuff for you yung ganan? Ako naman po, I am super super happy and super grateful po because again, this is a new 
experience for me and it's a um a new movie that's coming out for everyone to watch and i'm just super happy and grateful po na natanggap po ako dito sa movie na po ito ang um, pan pala ano sa, para sa inyo ni ni ano yun? <clears throat> ni Jameson paano niyo pinapakilig yung isa't isa parang may ganun ba <laughs> parang bro ganito gawin mo charot <laughs> um to be honest naman po um from what i've noticed while filming this film there's no yeah. difference po talaga pag pagdating po sa pagpakilig because again from um what i've said before what i noticed po talaga is love is love and however you treat a certain person your friend your lover your family you know that mm-hmm. that that love is there and the way you pampakilig rin sa mga certain person ganun lang talaga there's no difference po talaga so it was easy for for both of us ho so you jameson um well siguro uh joel well, i don't know i mean sa sinabi niya yeah uh, i actually agree na it's almost similar um in terms of like the nuances pero sa part ko sa perspective ko i mean as my character it's a bit different i was so used to one i was so used to be, uh, being the one na uh, uh nakapakilig like you know um making the girls feel kilig and stuff like that pero in this in this part i'm to the one being kilig so it- <laughs> And uh, I just want to feel the story. And yun lang, yun lang po. Okay. And also, second question ko po, para naman sa, including Gab, ano yung makukonsider ninyo na pinakamarupok moments ninyo pagdating sa love? Sorry, pinaka ano po? Pinakamarupok. Ay. Ay. Just go, when it comes to love. Um, well, sorry, hindi ko, ano yung word? Propok? Marupok. Marupok. Marupok, I just ko. Anyway, char. Hindi, ano lang, tama si Joe, wow, love is love. So, um, it was a, really a pleasure for me to be working with Jameson mostly kasi. And when it comes to love, if asking me personally, char, ako react lang. I mean, spread love, share the love, and react to the love that is given to you, o, di ba? pang ano yung sagot ko, Char. <laughs> May marupok moment ka ba? Ako wala. Wala. BFF talaga. As in, ultimate supporter. Ultimate supporter kay Jameson ako in the film. I'm actually excited for people to see the kind of ano, friend that the role I play is in the film. Okay. Pero About- Sir Albert, gusto ko tanongin si Siga. Wala ba yung moment na parang, kunwari, dun sa pag-ibig, yung gusto mo nang mag-move forward pero hindi pa rin, yung bumabalik at bumabalik ka sa kanya, yung rupok moment. <laughs> Bakit ako yung picture? Na ano ako, <laughs> na on the spot ako. Ayaw niyo bang tanongin ng two leads na ate Char? <laughs> Sige, ako muna. Ako, um, of course, like anyone, I am human. And um, if I love, I will love completely. Oh, di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero totoo, promise, um, the moment na nag-commit ako, yun na yun. So, yun lang lang masasabi ko. And I thank you. I know you guys will want to hear more from the two. Pinapasa sa amin. Sige, si Joao. Si Joao. Si Joao. Jo- 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 um, ako naman, marupok moments. I've had, I've had my moments. Ito talaga. Um, example, I'll just give an example. Um, uh, me and this girl, uh, we're dating. And then, again, nag-aawi kami. And then, you know, quarrel, love quarrel, stuff like that. Pero after, konting lambing niya lang sa akin. Sige na, okay na tayo. Sige, okay. As in, okay na. You know, just just simple uh, marupok moments that everyone can relate for sure. <laughs> Naging marupok ka. Okay, <laughs> ano yun? Joao kay ano kay Su dati. <laughs> oh naman po, I had the ad moments. Okay. Sige. Thank you, James. <laughs> ano po? Um wait lang, direct word of the day po. <laughs> word of the day? Word of the day. Can you give me the right definition of marupok? <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting kasi ko anong ibig sabihin noon eh. You you get weak and okay. you give in. Yes, you give in easily. When you uh, get into killing or love, ganyan. 
Yeah. Even easily. Um, siguro, it depends on the situation. Eh. Tsaka, uh, honestly speaking, it's been a while then since uh, I've had a, had a girlfriend talaga. So, uh, siguro mga konting lambing, ganun. Um, I don't really like given already. Parang ganun. Ganun ako minsan. Pero I don't know how how would I be now. Kasi wala pa ang girlfriend. Pero I'll let you guys know pag meron na. <laughs> Strong yarn. Magpo-post ka ba ng ad? <laughs> Magpo-post ka na ba ng ad? Mga kapamilya, open po si Jason. Thank you. na po. Okay. Ah, so ano, last na lang. So Jameson, hindi naging kayo ni E? Mm-hmm. Hindi po. Okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Maraming salamat sa ating kasamang si Albert. Thank you, Mama Albert. Thank, thank you. you. Naku, mukhang sa inyong tatlo, parang ako ata yung pinakamarupok. Mayroon marami akong rupok stories, ha? Pero hindi mo. Ito na lang, pakinggan naman natin ang susunod na katanungan mula sa PEP, si Jimpy Anarcon. Hi, Jimpy! Hello po. Magandang Hi, po. hapon. Tapos yung rupok moments, ha? Charing. Okay, ito <laughs> question lang for Joao and Jameson, no? Kasi parang nung unang in-announce yung project about this BL, BL movie, parang maraming na-excite na fans ninyo at maraming lumabas na mga nag-wish nila na buti kayo ang may BL na next. So ano lang ang reaction nyo doon? Nabasa nyo ba yung mga ganong tweets sa uh, social media? Well, I mean, for me, I'm happy din kasi I know they're happy. Because I've been seeing tweets then uh, ever since my very first movie, na Too Cool to Be Forgotten. Um, it was also coming of age then. So there were always I've seen some fans tweeting and commenting that they've been waiting. For, they're waiting for a movie that'll do something similar to that. So I uh, know uh, initial reaction ko is um, like I felt excited for them at the same time. In po. <laughs> um, ako naman po. Uh, yeah, I have I have read some tweets, uh, some comments about. Um, our fans reacting to our movie and i'm just i'm really happy po dahil excited po sila para sa akin at para sa amin po because you know this is a, a new coming of age movie and i can't wait for them to see the story that we can share with them po oh ayun naman galing sa mga excited na fans syempre meron ding mga parang nagtweet na parang uy may BL ulit ganyan kasi super dami na nga nitong mga nakaraan di ba so parang gano naman ka different ito na parang para hindi na nila masabi na na naman Hmm, well, siguro ito, um, what I can say is uh, mas light siya, siguro, uh, um, mas cute in some way, and yeah, um, I don't think every, I mean, it could be like the same category, pero we always bring something different, and um, they will see that eventually. True, um, I agree, true, I, I agree with Jameson, like we said, it's light, fun, but it's filled with feelings talaga, and at the same time, it's super relatable. To all of us because the movie is uh the story setting is within what's happening with us right now mm-hmm. hello okay. jimp i think the best the best person to answer that question is direct bobby because wow. he's the mind behind my lockdown romance direct <laughs> bobby yon coming from jimp's question ano ang magiging uh, kaabang-abang sa my lockdown romance um kasi syempre hindi pa iwasan na there would be some similarities to the same themes, di ba? Of, um, of movies, may mga ganun. Pero um, I guess each, um, each film, each project has something unique to offer. And yung, and yung sa amin is, well, number one, yung um, chemistry na binigay ni Jameson at ni Joao sa isa't isa. And the format of the movie, uh, makikita nyo naman pag, uh, pag pinanood nyo, iningatan namin na hindi lumabas sa format na yun. And um, it's something na na kabit na kabit sa real life, <laughs> real life situations ng mga tao. Ang lakas ng relatability. Nakita nyo naman sa trailer. Ang lakas ng ang lakas ng relatability niya. Ang daming um, and from all walks from all walks of life um, with different relationships sa iba't ibang mga tao. Kakabit sa mga nangyari dito sa ano sa kwento nilang dalawa. Gusto ko yon direct Bobby. Yung merong nakakabit sa real life experience. Ikaw ba, JMP, meron ba nag-alok sa inang insurance? Nagparamdam at nag-alok sa inang insurance? <laughs> Oo, oh, parang lahat tayo na ano niyan. <laughs> Ito na lang last na question for Gab lang kasi isa sa pinakatalagang mahalagang component siguro or character in a BL is yung 
best friend, di ba? And parang halos lahat ng mga BL din na napapanood, tumatatak din yung best friend na role. So ikaw naman, siguro ano siguro sa yung magiging tatak mo or paano siya magiging remarkable na ikaw yung next sa mga yon. I think si God, because I play the role of God. Pang isang letter lang ang ano difference namin. Pero si God kasi parang no, she's not just a supportive friend, pero she tells it like it is. So yun yung exciting sa kanya, yung hindi lang siya yung basta so support sa karupukan ng friend niya. Oh, di ba? Binalik ko yung rupok. Oh, James on, take notes, check check. <laughs> <laughs> hindi, parang, hindi, ano, hindi lang siya supportive, pero parang she she was very straight to the point and very this is reality. So accept mo, parang ganon. So exciting, exciting din yung role ni God kasi very strong yung personality niya. If ano, if soft yung role ni Jameson, siya yung totoong feelings ni Jameson, parang ganon. Ay not Jameson, sorry, yung role ni Jameson. <laughs> well said. <laughs> Thank you and congratulations sa kaka Thank you. Maraming Thank you. salamat, Jim P. Ayan. So, si God pala ay ang real talker. Best mm. friend. ba? Diba? Gusto ko yan kasi sana lahat ng mga kaibigan ganun, no? Yung merong real talk. And, and when we say real talk, yung supportive, pero ilalagay ka pa rin sa katotohanan. So, I think, ano eh, I, yung role ni God expresses what, what um, Jameson's role won't say. Mm, parang ganun nga eh. Actually, Uh-oh. I agree. <laughs> Kung baga, I will express for him dahil kilala, kilalang kilala ko siya. Ganon. Kailangan ko ng angel. God sa buhay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ito naman. Next question. Alan Sancon from Stars Photog. Hi, Alan. So, good afternoon. Kita ba ako? Hello po. Hi, Hi Hello, Alan. Po. Hello, yan. Wow. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, po. Good evening na pala. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> ano, uh, pagkakaalam ko, this is the first, uh, kan maraming series eh, di ba? And parang ito yung unang-unang ipapalabas na BL film, di ba? Sa mga cineflex, sa social media. So, is, do you feel any pressure na parang dapat ito, parang sinimulan nyo na BL film, maganda and talagang mag magmo-mark sa mga tao. Doon sa mga kasen to, to direct, do you feel any pressure na, na sana maging maayos at magandang kalabasan itong BLC film na to? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't feel that much pressure naman. I'm actually happy and excited on how the movie is going to be shown to the people because this is going to be a very different style. It's going to be shown on social media and everybody will be able to watch at the same time then. Um, um, not so much pressure unlike pag may mga premiere night na uh, normally premiere night tapos ang dami tao oh, oh, yeah. that's where i usually feel pressure pero this time um not so much pero uh, i'm just i'm very hopeful for this um uh, release ng movie na to are you aware are you aware na ito yung first bl film na ipapalabas Pinoy? yes po yes po um okay. ako naman po um I guess yeah, I agree with what Jameson said. Um, di po kami pressured, but we're more excited po talaga because again, this is a a, com- a new coming of age film coming out uh, online po, and again, we're very happy because everyone, as in everyone po, can watch this now at the safety of their own homes po. So you yeah. know. Big up as a best friend. <laughs> um, it's exciting really, also because of the new medium. Um, there are like ang daming material na lumalabas and especially now, kailangan ng mga tao ang pampaligaya and this is a film that is really going to just, it's light and fun and happy and like direct said, very relatable. So more than the pressure, mas exciting siya, at least magpapa, magpapaligaya kami ng tao, I think. And that's what's exciting about it. Len, siguro sundot ko lang for Direct Bobby. Direct Bobby, intentional ba na dapat mailabas ang pagiging light, ang pagiging fun nitong pelikula na ito? Especially lockdown yung setting? Oo, oh, 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 actually. Intentional, um, intentional siya na light-hearted and fun. Um, kasi parang sa dami at sa bigat na pinagdadaanan ng mga tao sa, sa naging sitwasyon natin ngayon, di ba? Parang it's, it's refreshing to come up with something light-hearted and and hopeful and something na kapag kapag pinanood mo is parang parang 
mabibigyan ka ng ano, para ma-revitalize ang energy mo sa buhay. Parang ganun. Gusto ko yung... Parang kasi parang this is my ano, rom- lockdown romance, diba? So oh. same, da, na parang yung ibang mga BL lockdown na, na nakita ko na they shoot it ng sarili-sarili nila sa kanilang oh. mga bahay. Ganun din, parang sila Jameson din, sila rin nag-set up ng camera, sila rin yung... Ganun ba yung, yung sitwasyon? We're just curious about how you do the film. Parang ganun din po. Actually, may write-up na din po dyan before and... Um, Um, the actors, they were sent cameras din po, ginaid po namin. Um, magkakasama po kami lahat online. And ginaguide namin sila through um, through video conference. Uh, and then after, syempre, inayos in post. Um, and ayun, makukita niya naman po. Um, maganda po at malinis naman yung pagkagawa po. Papanayin ko lang yung tatlong ano, cast members. Kung how was it? Kamusta? Hindi ba kayo nahihirapan? Kasi nasanay kayo na acting na lang kayo. Hindi kayo magsasalit. How was it? Kung baga, um, ano yung new normal nung shoot nyo na kayo talaga yung magsasalit up ng shoot nyo? Yeah. Well, yung sa, sa akin po, so yung first day, it was uh, it was really a challenge talaga. It was like a one-man show at first. Um, I had to do most of, the, uh, most of the stuff by myself. Um, tsaka yung guide ni Direk and everyone sa video conference. Pero um, after a few days, um, I also got help from the production and also uh, your manager also helped me uh, from Star Magic and um, to make it make things easier. And yeah, it, uh, then. it was a challenge because usually, I mean, normally after scene, we'd um, memorize our scripts. But uh, that time when we shot the movie, we had to set up the camera and the lights and stuff. And um, it was a challenge, but at the same time, I'm also happy that we also got to learn something new um on like we got to experience uh how people behind the camera actually shoots the movie so uh, yeah, it was also something uh, it was also a new learning experience para sa akin. it helps also yeah, everyone um, was so patient no huh? everyone was so patient it helped na everybody yeah. was just and patient yes. over zoom True. and sobrang challenging talaga siya lalo na like kunyari ako i shot it at my parents place So that my entire family, I was just like, don't leave your rooms. <laughs> This has to happen. <laughs> yung ganon. Medyo ganon yung nangyari naman in my end. So iba-iba. I'm sure for every project, it's different. Pero it's, a, again, something new. Challenging, pero fight, di ba? <laughs> yes. Lahat kami sabay-sabay natuto eh. So from exploring oh. and operating it. So team effort talaga siya from um, from the production staff to the actors sabay-sabay naming natutunan kung paano tapusin yung pelikula. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, how was your experience? Joe. Ganun rin po I um I agree with everyone. It's the same experience na po talaga. First day of course it was challenging, but to be honest, um I was more happy because I got to learn a lot of new things, you no? Know? Cuz I had to learn how to set up the camera, um uh, which angle to put it for a you know for a good view. And then lightings, especially dun pa ako natuto dahil, you know, it, it, really, it really teaches you on how to put or, or it teaches you how, where to put the light para maganda yung shot mo. And yeah, it's just a great experience po talaga for me. Okay. Last on me, to Joao and to Jamison, kasi parang isa rin sa mga inaabangan sa BL series, aside sa kilig, eh yung intimate scene. <laughs> diba? <laughs> it, 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 I don't know if, if if you're going to reveal or not, pero not giving too much. Parang kung wala man, kung sakali bang merong na na ganun, are you willing to do that on screen? Parang, halimbawa, nakita kayo and then you do the, the kissing scene not with a girl, <laughs> but with your same... Ano. I, um, for a different project po or for itong project po? Any project. Any project, or kung dito man, kung meron man or wala, are you willing to do? Uh, well, for the for our movie right now, it's, I think it's better for everybody to watch the movie and see and find out. <laughs> and uh, for I mean, I mean personally, personally, if I would do it, uh, um, in a different project, um, it depends on the script. I uh, actually don't mind because uh, as an actor, you know, we have to actually do things mm-hmm. like that, and we're, we're playing a role, and. Yeah, um, okay lang naman sa akin. It really depends on the project, when I, if I'll do it or not. Oo nga, nag, nag, nagawa mo nang magpakita ng bat in one movie, di ba? <laughs> Yun po. Oo nga po. Yeah, kasi yung first movie niya to, ano? ba? 
Are you willing? Ako naman po, I'm willing. I'm willing to do it po naman. You know, as an actor, if it's uh, essential for the movie or for the story, I'm happy to do it po. Sige, tanongin na rin natin si Gab kasi part siya. Eh. Of course, not with a boy, but with a girl. <laughs> you willing to do that? <laughs> you know, that's something that I haven't thought about, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> But again, we are always open to new experiences. So we'll see one day. And also, tama si James, and depende sa script din talaga. So exciting, exciting to see. Maybe one day, no? Okay. Yeah. Thank you and congratulations to you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alan. Thank you. Nice to see you, Mela. Nice seeing you, Alan. Ingat ka at maraming salamat sa iyong mga katanungan. What I loved about your answers, Jameson, Joao, and Gab, especially I'm coming from the LGBTQ plus community, is your openness. I think it is about time for us to see the normalcy of intimacy between um, same sexes, between boys, boys, girls, girls, trans people. Um, it's, it's necessary. And I'm very happy that you are open to that situation. Maraming maraming salamat. And now... <laughs> Let's hear it from ang iginagalang natin sa industriya, Sir Romel Pasente. Good afternoon po. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon po. Uh, Unang-una pang congratulations sa inyong dalawa dal. Kayo yung napili, di ba, sa mga nag-auditions. Kasi nga, tama yung sabi ni Alan, sa karaniwan sa mga BL series, mga BL series kasi dati sa mga YouTube lang napapalad sa television, may mga kissing scenes, siyempre ayaw nyo pa yung reveal, di ba? So, eh, kung hindi yun ang masasabi nyo, kasi yun nagpapakilig galing sa mga members ng third sex, di ba? So, kung hindi yun i-review kung BL mang ganun, so ano yung isang eksena dito na sa tingin nyo kikiligin yung mga manonood? Kasi habang kinitina ko kayong dalawa, bagay kayo eh. Tama yung napil yun, direkta may chemistry yung dalawa. So, Salamat ano yung makakapagpakilig sa mga manonood? Na pare ko kayo, oye, paano rin yung movie yan? Nakakakilig yung dalawa, bagay. Um, feeling ko, um, I appreciate ng mga tao yung chemistry namin. Uh, chemistry ng both characters sa movie. Um, I won't reveal any, anything kung anong meron, kung anong ginawa namin. Pero um, that's what I feel towards the movie and uh, how it will affect yung mga viewers is yung chemistry namin. Um, on like how eh, yung story story ng ano bawat character and yun din yung masasabi ko yung chemistry ng two characters um ako naman po again yeah um ano po yung magpapakilig sa mga viewers namin i guess yung mga nuances po namin especially si Jameson kasi and dami yung nuances dito at ang cute talaga eh as in makikilig sila sa mga oh tama-tama na si Gabo <laughs> si Oh, <laughs> oh, bro, cute talaga. So, dun po kayo talaga kikilig. And I don't want to spoil anything too much, pero ako po personally, um, when I was reading the script, the ending po was uh, what what made me captured uh, the story and I'm I'm pretty sure dun po sila kikilig rin. Oh, yes, actually. Tama naman si no? Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want, I, I, that's what ending. the same thing. I don't want to spoil anything, pero yeah, 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 but, I want to see it. That's why like the viewers have to watch the whole film and they will understand what we're saying. Kasi di ba, base sa nakita ko na Paul Con Taylor, parang ang budding girl si Jan si Jameson, di ba? Parang siya siya ba yung budding girl si Jan na magkakailaban kay bro. Kasi BL to bromance to, di ba? Ikaw ba yung budding girl kasi hindi na ikwento yung characters niyo, di ba? So, ikaw ba yung parang gay dito, Jameson? Um, no, ako po ako po yung parang yung submissive na type, okay. I guess, for the character. Uh-huh. Yes po. So, so um, pero, ano po? Sige go. Sige sige lang go. Na, sige lang po. Um, ano po yung uh, yung question niyo po? I forgot din kasi. Ay, ikaw submissive. Sa totoong buhay ba submissive ka rin? Um, ikaw <laughs> pay submissive. Ah. Uh-huh. Well, syempre pag ano, like pag may babae, di naman ako yung mm-hmm. Submissive talaga. I mean, siguro there's some, I have some traits na similar to that. Di naman submissive yung word eh, pero I can say na I have a, a lighter or a softer personality. Like, medyo mm-hmm. like, pang chill ako. Pero di naman yung like submissive. Eh, Siyempre, when, when it comes to relationships, um, I can't be that submissive. So, parang sa moment si ano po, no? Parang yung character ni Joe Yungso na naiiba po sa lahat ng na-play niya is parang... Uh-huh. Ito, ano, siya yung mas mahinhin, siya yung mas kime 
na dahil may dahil may dinadala may dahil sa yung may dinadala hindi masabi na na mga po <laughs> and para sa akin yung kilig na makikita natin sa kanila is kasi minsan sasabi ng iba ang kilig nasa halikan nasa yakapan mm-hmm. hindi mas pero kasi minsan yung kilig nandun sa ano po eh nandun sa pag-uusap ninyo nasa tingin ng mga mata ninyo na na matitiwala ang mga tao na ganyan ang tingin na ninyo sana maghalikan kayo isang araw o ganun pero <laughs> Diba? Pero parang ang, ang, ang pinapakita nila kasi is, pero um, other than that, let's um, put that aside, ang naibigay po kasi nila is ano eh, is yung, is yung sincerity of the character na kapag ako, natutuwa akong kausap ako nitong kaibigan ko na to, long lost friend, kitang kita sa mga mata nila eh, yung konting kont- maliit ng ite, yung konting galaw ng mata, nasa kanila yun eh, at kung mapapansin pag pinanood mo, pag pinanood dun mo, ano talaga eh, um, mag-exude mula sa screen papunta sa'yo at, at alam mo na, ah, okay, ganito talaga, ganito din ang nararamdaman ko, ganito ako kapag kiligin. Tama, direct, di ba? Ganun po tayo, di ba? Pagka mo in love ka sa isang tao, titigan lang kayo, magtingin lang kayo, mararamdaman mo na. So pwede nyo po makakapagpakilig na rin po sa manonood, sa mga tulad namin. Ito, Joao, at saka si... Uh, si James, kayo ba bago nyo tinanggap itong series ay bago kayo nag-audition? May mga kinausap ba kayo? May pinagtanungan kayo? Especially para nyo, ma mag-audition ako para dito sa role na ganito. Okay lang ba sa inyo? O sarili nyo decision yung pag-audition sa, dito sa My Lockdown Romance? Mm, um, sa akin po, uh, first I thought about it by myself. Ako mag-isa. Tapos, yeah, sinabi ko din sa mami ko, kung anong I mean kung anong tingin niya sa ano sa character and uh ayun, I just had to study the I just had to read the script lang talaga tsaka yung character description and um siguro in one or two days na paisip lang ako I just had I just needed time to think about it and ayun po I was sure uh, to take the role kasi nagustuhan ko naman siya mm-hmm. ako naman po ako naman po I was uh, offered to do the auditions po for this movie And when I was offered po, I asked my manage, management po muna if it's okay because I'm willing, I, I want to do it po. And also, I told my family about it back home. And I guess they were, they were excited po talaga because again, this is, a new, this is a new film where I'm starring in it. And they were super happy and excited po talaga for me. So, you know. Tama. Tsaka basta gawa ng isang cinema, quality yan. Hindi kayo dyan mabababoy, mababas. Basta siguradong kikita yung good luck sa inyo. Dalo. Pero last question, ha? Last question kasi romance to BL, di ba? Sa totoong buhay ba, di ba, Miss Mela, possible ba na magkaroon kayo ng romance o makipag-romance kayo? Pwede ba sa inyo yung ganong idea? Um, ako po naman personally, I've I've had I've had yeah uh, a couple of bromances you know it's 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 cool like example like me and Jameson we're we're bros here like we would talk and stuff like that but then there are times na we would say certain things na parang nakakilig and then oy ganun ganun so we we've had you know instances of bromances pa talaga Yeah I think um, it's also yo I know yung bromance na Ano ba ano ba is it again Okay, yung totoong totong, totong buhay sa kapwa niyo lalaki, okay lang din bing yun sa inyo. Since ganun ang role niyo dito sa movie, by lockdown romance, sa totoong buhay ba, possible din ba na makipag-bromance kayo? Ah, I see. Okay. Like, uh, sa, sa nangyari sa movie, okay. kung pwede mangyari sa, sa amin sa totoong buhay. Oo. 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 Di naman sa sa past na yun siguro like sa past na character ko um di naman to that level of romance siguro um siguro to the uh, super romance in a way na um ano as in tropa lang saying like i love you bro kasi parang normal din para sa akin din like i love you bro or gonna now we care about each other and we show our love to each other pero hindi to the point na um na yeah, for you know, like way to a relationship din naman siguro ganun pero in terms of love you yeah, we still show our love to each other and i siguro i can consider that i could consider that as romance then at some some point yeah, thank you 
Thank, thank you, Al. Thank you, Al. Um, again, I agree lang po with James. And, you know, I guess I've had instances where me and, or me and my close friends, you know, we've talked and stuff. And I guess they thought it was going through a certain direction and stuff. But, um, you know, I just, I just wanted to make things clear and, uh, you know, oh, we're just friends and like my love for you will always be the same, you know, I, I will care for you. I'll be here for you if ever you need me. And that's, that's the kind of friend I am, po. You know. Okay. Thank you and good luck sa moving nyo. Papa Noel ko sa November 13. Direct Bobby, good luck po. Thank you. Maraming salamat po, Sir Noel. As Sir Romel, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong mga katanungan. Ayan. Alam mo, na, nagustuhan ko yung bringing up ni Direct Bobby tungkol dun sa idea ng kilig. Because yeah. when, we, when we enter the... The, the narrative of kilig, kadalasan nandun yung intimacy, yung pagdiniig ng dalawang katawan. But nowadays, when we speak of kilig, ako as a viewer, I like it when it is going through a conversation. Kasi dun mo talaga nakikita yung paghuhubad ng dalawang tao nang hindi kailangan naghubad because they allow themselves to enter in each other's paradigm. So merong pagtatagpo ng dalawang utak, may pagtatagpo ng dalawang puso. At yun for me yung kilig na kaabang-abang din dito sa My Lockdown Romance. So thank you for that, Direct Bobby. Excited na excited na ako dito as a viewer. And I respect your sexual orientation, Jane's and Joe Wow. I respect that because lahat naman tayo, we believe in the diversity of gender, of sexuality, and we honor whom you love, whom you like, and I'm just very grateful that you are open to discussing this type of narrative of love between two boys. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Now, let's proceed with Miss Josephine Bonsol. Hi, Mommy Jo. Hello! Hello! Hello po! Hello po! Ang ganda po dyan. It's good to see you po. Siguro po ilalayo ko naman yung tanong ko kasi medyo deep. Tapos tungkol sa ano. Hindi po ba kayo natakot kahapon kasi super typhoon? Kasi all of a sudden biglang andito na tayo tapos we're lucky to be alive nagdasal din po ba kayo kasi sabay na sabay yung Halloween sa super typhoon na feeling mo talagang magsisignal number 5 what were you doing yesterday po when ano when the super typhoon was here and how did you spend your Halloween po isa-isa po um, uh, I'm actually surprised po na ano eh, di naman, parang dumaan lang po yung ulan, tsaka di naman siya malakas kahapon. It was just cloudy, and nasa bahay lang po ako. And, ayun po, di naman siya noticeable na sobrang ingay, or I mean, sobrang lakas yung ulan. Pero, parang dumaan lang po dito sa, sa Pampanga po. So, it wasn't as bad. And, for Halloween po, di naman ako masyadong nag-celebrate. I was just um, busy fixing, fixing my stuff lang sa bahay po. Um, ako naman po, I guess yesterday I was just here lang rin po sa condo, uh, naka-quarantine ho, and then also I just spent time, you know, uh, I video called my family back home and just wanted to check on them and got to uh, talk along with my family and to my siblings also. So, and, uh, Halloween naman po, I didn't celebrate it rin po, you know, um, I wish I did, but I guess it's, it's fine with uh, what's happening to us right now here, but, and... Yeah, that's it lang po. <laughs> Ako same. No celebration, we just really said a prayer because luckily Metro Manila, I mean, malakas ang ulan, pero from what I know, we were spared a direct hit. So, thank God. Um, hopefully, yun na yun. <laughs> you know, um, medyo natakot ng mga tao talaga, especially my family. So, everybody just made sure na ano, safe, we were prepared yun lang naman. Pero hopefully yung mga na-affect, ano, maging okay at ano, matulungan po natin. Direct Bobby! Ay, po. Ako po, I stayed, uh, stayed indoors lang din kasi nga po, well, bukod sa sitwasyon ngayon na hindi pwede lumabas, mas hindi pa pwede lumabas dahil sa bagyo. <laughs> um, and syempre, pinamusta po niya, mag-isa lang po ako dito nakatira ngayon. And um, syempre, tawagan po sa parents, family, and but up to that same point, buti na lang hindi nag-brown out online in Asia. So, pag-in po yung pelikula. 
So, ano, nasa final stages lang din po ng pag-ano, na para ma-present na po. Um, ayun po, pero dahil din po, um, ayun, medyo... Derek Bobby, uh, kwentuhan nyo naman po kami saan ang galing yung concept. Kasi uh, ang dami ko nang kinakikiligan. In, ano naman ako, babae ako ha, tapos ano, na, oh. ano, kilig na kilig ako sa BN. Bakit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. All of a sudden, we found this genre na bakit ganun? Kinikilig talaga ako. <laughs> Tapos, napansin ko rin naman, marami rin mga kasama ko ng mga ano, kasi edad ko, kinikilig din naman. Pero ano, saan po nagaling yung concept nyo? Yung sa inyo naman? Yung sa akin po, kasi, well, actually, ako naman, matagal ko na din talagang gustong gusto ko na, na dati Skype, Skype ko yung uso. Um, yung parang um, Skype Skype based na movie na romantic na lahat ng na lahat ng nang nangyari na online ganyan and long distance relationship yung iniisip ko noon na patayin ko pa na ko chance na sulatin ito kasi nag lockdown and having a lockdown relationship is like having a long distance relationship Um, not necessarily with lovers, also with friends and family, ganyan. Kasi napansin ko po nitong nag-lockdown, parang ang daming bumalik, ang daming bumalik na mga kaibigan, mga ex, ganyan. ganyan. Parang yung, yung, yung realization na parang despite all this, ano, despite the negativity that we have and despite having this lockdown, parang It's a wonderful experience then for some and ito yung ito yung klase ng kwentong gusto kong gusto kong i-share po ah uh, last question na po sorry po ah uh. for miss gab miss gab kasi ano you will be one of them na maaalala ko kasi mahilig ako dun sa mga best friend kara <laughs> oo oo sino mga ano mga mga ano, mga sinusundan mo o pinanood mo na, ay gusto ko maging ganun. Tapos you were offered this character na ano na it's very important for the movie because you will seal the story also. Did you also feel the pressure and who did you take after? Um, well, the role that I play kasi si Gad Um, wala naman pong specific pero because of the yung per, I mean I don't take after anyone specific pero yun nga dahil nga sobrang strong ng personality niya um, tsaka fun well I wouldn't say myself char hindi hindi ano uh, very supportive kasi ako as a person so I mean as an actress din kasi po I kind of um, take from personal experience also just because um, for me it's important yung authenticity ng character lumabas. So, um, as a supportive friend, medyo ganun yung peg naman ng role ko. And tama po kayo na yung best friend b- bilang voice ng lead na hindi na sasabi ng lead, parang mas kaya siya exciting for me. And she is very comic. I mean, si Direct Bobby was very particular sa auditions pa lang with how um, si God had to be yung medyo outspoken and fun and just not naman pushy pero kumbaga I just had to find the re- the parts of me that I see in God that I could put in the film also kaya kaya nakaka-excite din po kasi tama tama po kayo na ang best friend din talaga usually sila yung fun part I think I'm fun char <laughs> you are gab you are fun <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, niyan naman po. Uh, Nakaka-excite naman po. More than, I don't like thinking about the pressure also. And I don't like comparing also in a way. So I just try to make it as real and as authentic as possible. Um, and by serving the character din at the same time. Yan. So si Gab po nagbigay ng energy talaga din dito sa pelikula mo to. Ang lakas ng energy po ni Gab. <laughs> Ang teatro po kasi. <laughs> But you know what, Gab? I don't want to see you as the best friend character, but you are the character that complements, 'di ba? You are very essential into the narrative in which we will be seeing you as someone who completes, 'di ba? Someone who's broken and someone who's longing. 
<laughs> Thank you, Miss Mela. Indeed. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Kaka excited. Miss Mela, pahabol. Yes, po, Mami Jo. Miss Gab, Miss Gab, what do you find one particular physical facial trait cute in Jameson and Jo? Wow. Ah. Oh. Physical trait. Oh my gosh. You know, as a person, ma'am, ma'am, as a person, hindi ako mga physical tao, pero sige, dahil tinanong niya po, guys, lapit kayo sa camera para, mak- <laughs> para makita. Ayan, ayan, lapit kayo. Um, mag-judge. Um, I, in my opinion, I think si Jameson, yung dimples niya, for sure, uh, very kochi. Kochi? Ang cute ng dimples niya. Tapos, si Joel naman, Natawa na lang. Si Joel naman, yung ngiti niya, very, ano, ang genuine. I mean, I'm genuine. not saying genuine. My dimples ka naman. So, ayan. Yun lang naman po. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Congratulations. You're welcome. Maraming Thank salamat, you. Mommy Jo. Thank you very much. Thank you po. Kinilig ako na kinikilig ka sa, sa kwento ng dalawang lalaking nagmamahalan. Doon talaga yung tumatak sa akin. At her age, di ba, na parang kinikilig daw siya doon sa ganoong um, narrative. Ang saya because somehow we are opening up to more types of love stories. Di ba? Yes po. Oo. At parehas tayo ng points na kinikilig tayo kay Jameson at Joe Gap. At kung isasama ko si Direk Bobby, yung mata niya, I like Chilito. Ay, nako si Chilito. Pero sige, dumako tayo. From Manila Standard, Nikki Wang. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Mela. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello po. Good evening. So, my first question is for uh, Direk Bobby. Uh, earlier, you talked about... Uh, the relatability of the film and of course the concept so i, I really wanted to know uh were the characters inspired by you know real person and the the, the scenes were they inspired by real life events um yeah i would say so and um as i said parang dahil sa relatable sa relatability ng characters diba ang dami kong um ang dami kong friends na nakaranas na ng ganitong klaseng situation on both ends of the characters. Um, personally, it's also a personal film and pinagdaan ng film. Talaga yun. It's a personal film. So, it was an emotional ride uh, writing it. And I'm just happy that I get to share it with everyone. And then I'm so happy na I have these actors, fine, these fine actors na, na nagbigay ng buhay dito sa role na to na nang pinanood namin. Uh, hindi lang ako, pati buong team ko, nakarelate kaming, kat, la, na, karamihan ng nakapanood, nakarelate at um, tumawa, natuwa, naiyak. Pero how long did it take you to finish or to complete the entire film? Um, the, entire, the entire film, um, we actually, so this was um, shot during the ano, no, community quarantine period. So we shot the film in around five, five days, guys, right? Five, 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 five. Shooting, um, shooting period, the challenge nga is um, bago yung work hours, so kailangan naming matapos din. And dahil um, I have very competent actors, luckily nata- natapos namin on time. <laughs> and um, it took months din kasi yung process of, um, of reviewing, feedback, and, um, and finally finishing up in, finishing up in post-production. Um, ang matagal din kasi yung post-production process niya eh, kasi inayos. Um, so, after after the shoot, like, um, siguro natapos tayo bandang mga um, August, ano? so from July, August, September, October. So, siguro mga four months din yung process from pre-prod to post-prod. I see. Um, um, also, kanina, si, si Jawaw and, uh, and uh, Jameson, they talked about being comfortable with each other. That's why maganda yung chemistry na sa screen. Pero ha, being comfortable with each other or being friends uh, is different from, you know, having chemistry on screen. Mm-hmm. H- how are you able mm-hmm. to parang maipalabas yon sa screen na makita ng, ng mga audience yung nag-gel yung personality ng dalawa? Uh, what, what are the things that you did para maipalabas yon sa screen? Um... 
Well, we said kanina, like um, us being friends, um, it just made things easier for us, siguro. So, um, on how we tried to show it, siguro, uh, sa shot is by the nuances on like mm-hmm. how we look at each other, um, how we make eye contact, basically, um, uh, how we react to, uh, like for example, how I react to what um Joel's character says and what um, but uh, how he reacts to what I say. Yung mga ganun lang, yung mga small uh, nuances, siguro that's how people will notice na there's actually something going on between the two of us. Ako naman po, um, like, to be honest, I think the first day we had po, um, there was a certain scene na uh, uh, I struggled portraying or showing a certain emotion. Uh, but luckily, direct, direct Bobby was there to help me out and uh, he, he walked me through it. And at the same time, what I really did then po was um I put my shoes na lang, uh into Kendrick's character talaga. Like mm. I went full on on him and just like tried to understand and see how to uh bring out that certain emotion. But with uh direct Bobby's guidance that that really helped me out a lot and I guess I got to pull it through. Thanks, Joel. Since you yung nasa screen, you ko yung tatanungin ko. Um <laughs> In real life, yung character ba ni Jameson is someone that you can be friends with? And if so, we're talking about the character, ha? And if so, hmm. what are the, the good traits of the characters that you admire? Um, of course, I would be friends with, uh, with uh, Jameson's character in life. And I have friends already who are uh, very similar to Jameson's character. Hmm. And sorry, what's the other question? Uh, what are the qualities of Jameson's character that you admire? Um, I admire the the softness, the the uh, easily to talk to, to forgive, and to also mm-hmm. just be with, you know, because people like that are are just fun to be with. And like again, it's easy to talk to because they're not doing it. They're they're more open, pero mas chill lang sila, you know. So ayon. Right. Thanks, Joao. Jameson, si Kendrick ba is someone you can be friends with in real life? Um, yeah, I'm actually gonna din sa, I mean, gonna din yung sinabi ni Joe. I also have friends like Kendrick. And, um, because Kendrick is more of, um, uh, let's say, I think he's an optimistic guy. Um, like, he would, uh, want to, he would like to make you try something new. And he would also try to push you to do something. And, um, yeah, I also like that kind of trait. Because, I mean, I'm the type of person na parang, you know, if for example you want to do something like uh, let's say go on a roller coaster, for example, I'm um, be like, nah, I don't want to. Pero um, Kendrick would be the guy na parang tara na, let's go, let's try, you know, let's try it out. You know, so you know, I, I like someone to also help me like face my fears or um, push me to be better. Um, that's also that's actually the main trait that I like about Kendrick. And um, ano pa ba? <laughs> Yun lang po, siguro. Okay, siguro ang, ang, ang final question nung to na lang. Uh, probably the, the entire cast can answer this, including direct. Uh, what What do you think is the major takeaway of the viewers upon watching the film? Siguro, let's start with Jameson since you're going to screen. All right. Um, what, what's the main thing that people would... Yeah, the, the, the major takeaway of the film. Major takeaway? Um, uh, that it's never too late. Um, it's never too late to reconnect with someone, mm. um, even from the past. Uh, because you don't know how special it could be. Like maybe it was just for a certain time, but as you guys mature, but it's, it's something different. So, um, I am. So you go to connection uh, between friends um, on how to like develop a friendship, and uh, yeah, for sure, people will actually relate um, with both characters' the story. So I am. Right, Joao. Para sa akin naman, yung takeaway nila from this film is um, cherish your your friends. And be be open, be open and be uh, forgiving. Ayun. Okay, thank you all. Let's go to Gab. Um, I agree with them both. It's really ano eh, cherishing the genuine connections and lalo na yung to not be afraid to reconnect with people from the past that meant a lot to you. Um, ang ganda ng sinabi ng dalawa. So, yun lang yun. That's really what it is. It's that. Okay. Thank you, Gab. So, uh, Direct Bobby, uh, ano ba tayo yung gusto mong uh, sabihin? Take away. 
ayun parang ano parang generally it's uh, despite um despite hard circumstances despite circumstances na 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 nahirapan tayo kumilos ang hirap gumalaw mukha tayong tanga mukha tayong nakakatawa um um no matter no, no matter the circumstance no matter the scenario have faith in yourself have faith in friendship and have faith in love Thank you. Well, congratulations to the entire cast, of course, Derek, and good luck to your film. We're excited to see it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. much. Maraming salamat, Nikki. Derek, Bobby, na-apektohan ako dun sa sinabi mo, ha? Have faith in yourself, have faith in your friends, and have faith in love. Ano ba yun? Ano ba yun? ako because you, you are telling us that this is your per, a personal narrative. Parang portions of the movie can be, can be said personal. And we all know that if it's personal, it's, it's very sincere and it comes from the heart. So I am looking forward to seeing the sincerity of your work because I know there is love in it and now I can tell you I'm having faith in you thank you <laughs> so then natin naman kay mula naman sa the Filipino Times Dubai hi Neil magandang gabi ayan uh, magandang hapon po mula dito sa Dubai it's just uh, 2.28 ayan talagang minus 4 hours good afternoon to you yes, good afternoon good afternoon hapon. So uh, my first question is for Derek Bobby. Derek Bobby, hello po. Uh, yeah. So um um very witty yung title ano, my lockdown romance. So my parang LDR din, di ba? Long distance. That's nice. So paano sasagutin ng my lockdown romance yung naging effect ng quarantine sa mga taong in a relationship dahil magkahiwalay sila sa isa't isa? Um yung mga sa mga tao in a relationship. Uh, actually it's mostly like um Ayun nga, parang LDR, parang long distance relationship, di ba? Um, despite, circumsta- despite those circumstances, lalo sa panahon ngayon, may paraan. May paraan to make things work and to make things better. Basically, ayun. Okay. Um, let me go to Gab. Gab, uh, nung napanood ko yung, ano, ha, yung trailer earlier, very breakout star, ang taas ng energy. Bet na bet sa mga characters. It's very, very nice. Now, Uh, my question is, as someone who saw uh, yung love story between the characters nila Jameson and Joab unfold, uh, ano para sa'yo yung pinaka-importanting factor para maging solid yung isang relationship? Para maging solid ang... Yung isang relationship. Well, the way... It's ano important talaga yung genuine yung authenticity nila yung connection nila and how genuine they just they were just so open with one another and for me that's what makes a relationship and that's what makes a relationship work it's the openness and the genuine connection that two people can make no matter what kind or no matter who you are as long as the connection that you make is genuine because of the openness of both parties parties oh yun yun lang naman. Okay, okay. So, my final question is for both uh, Joel and Jameson. I'm not sure if you're following in Star Cinema na Facebook thread. Talagang kinikilig na yung mga viewers. Hindi na makapaghintay para mapanood itong My Lockdown Romance. So, my final question is, um, ano yung, ano, sa tingin yung uh, lesson in love na matututunan ng mga naka-LDR, lalo na syempre sa aming mga OFWs, kami nagtatrabaho kami dito, we have a loved one back in the Philippines. Ano yung lesson in love that transcend, transcends the BL um, thing? And yun pala, yun something that's universal for everyone in love. Hmm. Well, kasi yung story is, uh, the setting was happening during lockdown. So, I think um yung lesson is always try to make most out uh, make the most out of everything that you have um while we're away from our loved ones especially using um like our computers our our cell phones to always keep in touch with our families and our loved ones most importantly and um and what else can I say uh ayun lang po uh, just try to um make most of your time and um to connect again with with everybody especially lahat man tayo naging busy din tayo um i mean before lockdown and everything and also lockdown also made us realize that uh that we should start also you know uh, reconnecting with you know with our family with our friends and ayun po 
para sa akin naman po, I guess this goes out to everyone po, to our OFWs, to our family and friends who aren't, you know, near us. I guess what's really important here is to talaga po stay connected with one another, you know. Uh, make sure you ask them how they're doing. Um, just make sure na ayos lang po sila. Uh, you know, show show your true love towards them. And just making sure na you guys are fine and that you tell one another that you love each other. Ayan, maraming salamat na Joao Jameson. Miss Mela, maraming salamat for uh, this opportunity. And aabangan namin yan dito sa Dubai. Ang uh, my lockdown. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much po. Maraming, yes. salamat po. maraming maraming salamat. And you stayed with us. Maraming maraming salamat because you are bringing the story of my lockdown romance in Dubai. And remember, you can watch it November 13 din. Okay, via... via our Cinexpress channels. Ayan po, maraming maraming salamat. Mula Pilipinas, tumungo tayo ng Dubai. Ngayon naman, pupunta tayo sa Mix. Ayan, sa ating kapatid mula sa Mix channel, we have with us VJI De La Cruz. Hi, Miss Mela. Thank you. Hi. May I just say you're such a smart and beautiful host. <laughs> oh, thank you. That means a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. And to Gab, you were terrific in Ang Huling El Bimbo, the oh, musical. Thank you. Congratulations oh, on thank that. You. My question is for Joao and Jameson. Medyo natanong na lahat, but um, this is something that I think very mix-related, no? Kasi you both um, came from boy bands. So Jameson oh, yeah. was part of Hashtags. Joao was part of Boy Band PH. So um, if you were your characters in My Lockdown Romance and you were to dedicate a song to each other, what would it be? And can you sing a few lines? <laughs> <laughs> ito na natin yung kilig sa mga kinikilig dyan sa mga bahay nila. <laughs> oh, oh, my. Ako. Go! Ganda! Hindi ako prepared for this, ah. <laughs> Nagpakanta pa tayo, Jameson, ah. <laughs> okay. Oh, Joe, Joe. Kaya hashtags ako, eh. Sayo mo oh. lang. <laughs> um, a song that I would dedicate to Joe or eh, Joe? To, 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 uh, yeah, to, the, to the character. To the character. To yeah. the character. Huh. If you were your character as well. Para mas na kayo makarelate dun sa characters nyo, kung saan sila humuhugot, kung ano yung pinagdadaanan nila. Ang daming mga ano, um, nadadala sa mga songs ngayon. So, if you were to like put it into a song, yung feelings ng character mo for Kenneth, what would it hmm. be? Uh, Joe, ikaw muna. Nag- nag-isip pa ako eh. <laughs> <laughs> um, ako naman, I guess, a song I would dedicate to Jameson <laughs> is only my boy band PH. <laughs> I guess just the first few lines pa lang such as ano, wag ka naman lungkot, nandito naman ako. Yun lang. You know, ayun, that's the song. <laughs> um, good choice, good choice. Grabe. This is so hard. Wala akong may isip na kanta na para kay Kendrick. Hmm. Direct. Oh, Kendrick. <laughs> yes. Siguro, Jameson, yeah, while, okay. while you are thinking about it, yeah, okay. the, um, I, I know, BJ, I, I, I want to ask Bobby. Bobby, meron bang song running in your mind as you were writing and creating My Lockdown Romance? Naku, marireveal yung edad ko. Hindi, pero ako para siguro tagpuan. Moira de la Torre. Mm-mm. How about you, Gab? Um, since kilalang kilala mo rin naman talaga yung dalawang characters, if there was a song that you think would be perfect para dun sa dalawa, parang theme song nila ganun, what would it be? Sa dalawa? Eh, di kung ako na lang sana. <laughs> Ganda. Kung ako na lang sana ni Between Escalante. That might be a good one. Oo. Mm-hmm. Tama ba ako, Joao? Oo, ano? No. That was really good. That's that's a good answer. <laughs> Sorry, pero ano, pero may isa talaga akong mer mer isang song talaga na gustong gusto ko talagang ipasok sa pelikula to at napasok talaga namin. Oh, may we know po kung anong song 'yon, direct. Ah, uh, kanta siya ni Miguel Odron, still yung title niya. Still, yung yeah. kinanta niya sa Idol Philippines audition. Yes, yes, yes. and yes. sobrang um Sobrang bagay na bagay kasi talaga sa kwento at sa characters nila. And one line there um, is... Uh, hindi ko siya kakantahin. Hindi ako rin kumanta. Pero, <laughs> pero um, title, ang, ang, ang lyrics niya is, I can build a ship and sail, never return, but in my dreams, I'll still be coming home to you. 
Grabe naman po. Ganda! Ngayong gabi. Okay. Aabangan ah, namin yung scene na yon direct. Ah, kung saan mo pinasok yung still ni Miguel Odron. Thank you for yes. that trivia. Um, Jameson, kumusta na tayo hey. dyan? <laughs> um, I think the song that comes to my mind is um, ano ba yun? Coldplay. It's called uh, titled The Scientist. Kasi yung chorus, uh, the first line is Nobody said it was easy. Kasi it wasn't easy naman talaga eh. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Thank you. You know, wala ako <laughs> Pero maganda, maganda yung mga sagot niya. Thank you so much. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, BJI. Thank you, BJI. You gave us a very interesting question. Ang saya. <laughs> Na, napaisip talaga ako. I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh. Kasi, in, to be fair, for a movie to be beautiful, the OST, yung soundtrack talaga, oh, yes, you, actually. will okay. always give color to it. Kaya ako excited akong marinig sa mga nuances na ibibigay ninyo. Ano yung musikang tutugtog? Yun yung something na nilulok forward ko eh. Meron bang original soundtrack ang My Lockdown Romance? Direct, Bobby? Um, well, we only have a couple of songs kasi eh, na nakisama hmm. doon. So, um, and luckily yung mga songs na nakuha namin is very catchy din naman. Uh, hmm. So, abangan po ninyo. Yes, yan ang, yan ang aabangan ko kasi makakadagdag yan sa kilig for sure. Habang nagtititigan siguro si Joao at si Jameson. Tignan natin. Anyway, let's proceed with um, John Bueno of kumagkao.com. Hi, good evening, John. Hi, good evening. Um, good evening, guys. Uh, hello first off, good evening. Uh, new movie ninyo. Um, Jameson, I've uh, had the pleasure of actually interviewing you for BUM. Like a couple of uh, months ago, um, yeah. can you uh, uh, first tell us the yung, um, yung experience small with this film? Has it changed your point of view of gay relationships? Um, actually, no. Um, I never really it didn't really change my uh, perspective towards it. Um, I was I was actually um, I never I never had anything against it. when I thought it was um, because uh, I have some friends like that then. Um, they're also in a relationship together, and I already kind of like experienced like um seeing them together. So when I did the movie, I kind of just uh tried to feel how it was like a bit, a glimpse of um how how it is to be in that character. So um, di naman, it didn't really change my uh, my perspective in a big way, naman or anything uh differently. Pero I think it made me appreciate it more, and um, because since I'm playing the character. And ayun, I was actually uh, okay naman, okay naman. Uh, it was actually a good experience for me. All right. How about you, Jovo? Has it changed your mind about gay relationships? Um, para sa akin naman po, I've been open about uh, uh, these, these topics po. But to be honest, again, like I mentioned earlier, there was a certain scene I had a hard time and I had to talk with Derek. And when Derek was guiding me through it, it opened my mind more. And what, what made me realize po talaga na you know the way we treat a person ex- ex- especially if you're in love you know it doesn't matter what your gender is or who you are or what you are love is love put talaga there's no difference put talaga like i swear when direct was telling me like you know what to do and stuff like that my mind just went yo there's there's literally no difference here it's the same lang talaga you know and i really do believe now that love is love no matter what but... all right um okay to put you on the spot right now, uh, Jameson, can you tell us what's the sexiest part of uh, Joel's body? <laughs> and uh, Joel, can you do the same with Jameson? Um, uh, sexiest part. Hmm. Siguro his lips. Yeah, because like, uh, especially with the earring, looks, uh, looks sexy. <laughs> yeah, I like it. He has nice lips. Right. And how about you, Joao? I want I want man. I guess the sexiest part for me. I think everyone will agree here is uh, his dimples because it makes him look really cute and sexy talaga po. So, oh, thank you. Uh, all right. <laughs> Next question. Since na medyo natanong na lahat, what are you thankful for now that uh, you've done this film? Um, uh, uh, um, what am I thankful for? Am I actually thankful 
um, that I was offered this project. I'm also thankful um, to management and Star Magic uh, for giving me the opportunity, even Derek. And I'm also thankful that I actually uh, got the chance to take on this kind of role. And because it's something different and uh, I want to try different roles. And I'm also happy that I actually got to pull it off. How about you, Jao? Ako naman po. I'm thankful na I got this role in po. I got to be part of this beautiful film, uh, this new uh, coming of age film, and uh, I'm I'm thankful that it it made me realize that you know love is love po talaga, and I can't wait for everyone to watch this and to relate and you know get kilig and everything po. See you. Right. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for thank you so much. Thank you very much, John. Maraming thank maraming you. salamat for your questions. If I will be answering that question, I am thankful to you, Jameson and Joao, because your openness led to allyship. Yun yung pinaka importante sa amin because this is leading to the conversation that straight people can open their minds to the idea of this type of love, which is not different from your kind of love. Because mm-hmm, this yes. love is just as the same and as beautiful as any kind of love around. And I thank yes. you. <laughs> Sige, sundan na natin mula sa kwento ni Toto, Marco Polo Demo. Hi, Marco. Ang Hi, Mela. Hi, uh, Jamison. And hey, hello po. Good evening. Wait. Ayaw lumabas ang aking cam. Okay, so ayo lumabas ng aking ka. Hello. Hello, hello, yes. Uh, hello, hello so, then Marco. Camera. Anyway, dahil walang camera, so eto na lang. Question ko na lang for uh for Jamison and Joao. Give me three traits na sa tingin niyo ay may in love kayo sa same sex in case na magkaroon kayo ng pagtingin sa same sex? Um, three, three traits na, na ano, ano pa ulit? Sorry. Three traits na may in love kayo doon sa same sex. And bakit? Like if ever, if ever like, ever. It came to that point, parang ganun. Yes. Okay. Okay po. Um, hmm. Three traits. Personality traits. Um, siguro yung isa, is like what I mentioned kanina is um optimistic mm-hmm. and um it's, uh, I'm also attracted to like um, op- uh, optimism because uh, it brings motivation um ano pa? uh second is simply respectful um and third would be uh adventurous ayan mm-hmm. so you know oh, it's always fun and I am trying different things together. Parang ganun, let's just say that. Okay, thank you, Jameson. Joao? Para sa akin naman po, three traits. Well, I guess first is um, he has to be very loving. Uh, he's very open to what we may have in the future. And also, I guess what's very important to me is very uh, family-oriented, you know. Okay, thank you, Joel. And of course, for Gab. Same question, same sex. Um, same, committed. Someone who is um, loving and selfless. I would think same lang naman, whatever gender, whatever sexual orientation. Basta love. Yun talaga, love is love. Okay, thank you everyone and congrats. Thank maraming thank maraming salamat Marco for your question. Thank you, Mela. Thank you very much. Maraming maraming salamat. Batiin muna natin ang lahat ng mga nakasubaybay sa Facebook at sa YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning in with us. I hope you are enjoying our discussion and our session this evening. Talagang napaka-enriching ng ating conversation. And we are down to our last question giver. Ito na ang ating last interviewer for for the day and I think we saved the best for last. Ayan, si, from People's Journal, Tito Eugene Asis. Hi, good evening. Medyo, uh, Hello, medyo late good evening, question po. because I, I went out. So I, I don't know kung natanong na to, but uh, para sa inyong tatlo, kay Gab, kay Joao, at kay, kay uh, Jameson, uh, 
in real life, mayroon ba kayong uh, uh, lockdown romance talaga? <laughs> Mati tu matawa juga. Mati tu matawa. Kau lah. Kau lah. Lahat naman tayo, lahat naman tayo may, we have the same answer. Eh, pero yeah, yeah. I would like to hear okay. uh, your answers muna. Okay, okay fine. Maybe I'll ladies first. Yeah. Ay, sige. Sige, <laughs> sige, 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 lives close to me also. So really the only people I've been seeing um, is my family and my my long-time boyfriend. So, ayun lang naman po. po. Ayun lang naman po. Gano'n ka long time? Gano'n ka long time? Gano'n ka long time? Um, Kalong. Wow. Maybe... Wow. Hindi ko na nga mabilang eh. Pero, let's say official years, maybe four years. Pero... Oh. Longer than that pa po. So, yeah. Um, okay. Yun yung pa. dalawang guys, kung sino man ang gusto mong uh, mauna? Um, <laughs> para sa akin po, um, I was searching for a lockdown romance. <laughs> so, siguro, uh, lockdown, not so romantic yung nangyayari sa akin. I mean, um, wala pa akong girlfriend. <laughs> wala pa akong girlfriend. Um, lockdown, not, not so romantic. Yeah, not really so, hindi pala... dating. Ano po? Uh-huh. So hindi pala totoo yung fake news pala yung nababasa ko na ano nagbalikan daw ko ni Elise. Parang um, yung... hindi po totoo 'yun. Uh, okay. I mean, we were ne- we were never we were never together po. <laughs> so um yeah, tsaka it's been a while na din po, sobrang tagal na din. And ayun, so I think I believe na kasi yung time na to, I mean, during the lockdown was a perfect time then to reconnect with someone. And, uh, I mean, that's what I believe and ayun, I was sort of seeing someone um with the, the it's still developing let's say um pero di naman umabot sa point na like super romantic so that's why i said uh, my lockdown not so romantic so ayun po medyo okay, so ano parang semi lang parang light lang nangyari so <laughs> thank you yun na lang <laughs> pero artista rin ba yan artista rin um, hindi um, hindi po siya artista okay okay thank you si Joao thank you din po ako naman po Uh, lockdown romance. Um, well, to be honest, <laughs> so what about you, Gaba? Um, ako naman po. Well, yeah. I mean, it's during lockdown. I reconnected with some friends, but then you know, I guess I've talked to a certain girl, and you know, we became close. But I guess it just stayed there, lang po talaga. You know, um, hanggang dun lang naman po talaga. I guess just. Just there, we just became close friends, lang po talaga. Yeah, actually, ganon din actually talaga. Naging friends din kami. Nain. So could I Copy ask? Uh, could I ask a little message uh, for Sue from from Jao? I uh, Joao, sorry. Um. Um. Well, I hope I hope you're doing fine, and I hope you're happy. In lang, stay safe okay. also. Parang in love ka pa. <laughs> Okay, very encouraging like to Joao. Apo, you know, of course. That was like, you know. okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh last Thank question. Kig Kigab, uh curious lang, uh, are you related to the pangili- to the popular Pangilinan of Showbiz? Yes, po. My dad is um a Pangilinan sibling, one of the nine. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes, okay. but my parents are non ano, walang nag-showbiz sa kanila. Uh, okay. So, yun. Thank you very much. Thank you, po. Thank you, po. Good evening, po. Salamat po. Salamat po. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much po sa lahat ng mga kasamahan natin sa pamamahayag, all our esteemed journalists and our members of the press for your questions. Ang interesting ng last question ni ni Tito Eugene. Pero para sa lahat, I guess, it's okay if you don't have a type of romance, di ba? During the lockdown. I think the best romance that we can experience right now is reconnecting with ourselves and the people who matter around us. I think that's what va- that what is the most valuable in, in the lockdown experience. Kasi minsan, hinahanap natin yung kilig sa ibang tao, pero ma- baka matagpuan natin yon sa loob ng ating sarili. Diba? Yung, yung kilig na yon. Kaya, 
Nagpapasalamat ako po sa lahat ng mga nanonood sa atin sa Facebook at sa YouTube sa pakikisa ninyo sa ating, um, I think we are down to our second hour. Diba? Sa dalawang oras ng pakikisama ninyo sa ating simpleng kwentuhan. Joao, Jameson, Gab, and um, Direct Bobby, I now give the floor to you. Invite everyone to watch my lockdown romance. At kung ano ang gusto ninyong mensahe sa kanila tungkol sa pagtingin sa pag-ibig. Jameson? Hey guys, um, I'm inviting everyone to watch uh, my lockdown romance showing this November 13. Please don't forget to tell your friends, uh, family, Uh, please invite everyone to uh, watch it together, watch it with you. Um, I'm sure a lot of people will relate to this movie. And I hope you guys enjoy and have a fun time watching it. Maraming salamat. Joao? Um, I would like to invite everyone po to watch this new coming-of-age film called My Lockdown Romance. Um, coming out this November 13th. Uh, I can't wait for you guys to see the story. Um, of Tom and Kendrick. And I can't wait for you all to... Uh, be uh, to relate to our film, Paul. And yeah, uh, hope you enjoy, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Dab? I am very excited for everybody to see this light and fun film with all the kilig feels that um, this kind of movie should have. But at the same time, I'm even more excited for people to see Um, what kind of movie could be shot under these circumstances? Um, na patuloy ng patuloy ang pagkapuento and patuloy lang ang um, pagiging masaya para sa isat isa at pag connect din ng mga tao sa isat isa. Yon, I'm very excited for that. Thank you very much, Gab. And finally, direct Bobby. So um, thank you, everyone, and we were really excited to share this story with you guys, uh, with everyone all over the world, and. Um, Uh, this this movie was a work of love from everyone involved in it. Um, daming uh, and daming and daming pinagdaanan ng pelikula ng ito, daming emotions na pinagdaanan. And ngayon mapapanood mapapanood nyo na, mapapanood ng mga kaibigan ko din sa ibang bansa, mga kaibigan ko sa Guam, hi. Um, <laughs> Yung mga platforms, ang daming bagong platforms na ano eh, na, na mapagpapanooran nito. You have so many options, ktex.ph, I want TFC, Signal, Pay-Per-View, Sky, Pay-Per-View, and TFC, IPTV. So, you still get to experience uh, um, waiting for a waiting for a showtime at sabay-sabay nyo mapapanood. Uh, and it's an enjoyable film. It's funny. It's, um, it's very touching. It's very heartwarming and ayun tingnan niyo na lang kung paano kung paano mga characters nito ay nagmahal ng nagmahal ng totoo at hindi nagsisi. Ang sarap pakinggan ninyong apat dahil alam kong tama si Direct Bobby. This is a work of love. My lockdown romance speaks of how love becomes powerful most especially when it it, it is not just felt but experienced. Three things I'm looking forward to. One, I know that this is a personal story, so that means it is powerful. Two, it's about lockdown and it's about going back to our homes. At yun ay tungkol sa ating sarili at muling paglabas ng sarili at muling pagkilala sa ating sarili at sagutin ng tanong, sino ba tayo? At kung sino tayo, paano tayo makaka-apekto sa ibang tao? And lastly, I like how you highlight the experience of love just giving us the pure happiness, just giving us the pure satisfaction, and that love will always be beautiful no matter what. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo, Joao, Jameson, Gab, and Direct, Direct Bobby, the creators and cast of my lockdown romance. Maraming maraming salamat, Star Cinema, because despite the pandemic that we are experiencing right now, you are still masters of the craft and you are making sure that we are creating entertainment, entertainment with value, entertainment with passion, and entertainment with sincerity. Kasi naniniwala tayo na yung entertainment na ibinibigay ninyo is not just purely making us feel good about ourselves, but it also makes us reflect about life and where, we're, where we are headed even if we are going these tough times. Para sa lahat, I know the pandemic is challenging. I know the pandemic is trying to force us to go back to the things that we haven't really experienced. But I do hope that we cling on to two things. 
hope and love. At sana yan ang maipakita sa atin ng panonood natin ng My Lockdown Romance na mapapanood sa November 13, 2020 sa lahat ng Cine Express channels, KTXPH, I Want TFC, TFC IPTV, um, pay-per-view ng Signal at pay-per-view ng Sky Cable. Maraming maraming salamat po sa ating lahat. Let's enjoy the rest of the week. Lagi nating tatandaan sa buhay. Lagi tayong may laban. Ako po si Mela Habijan. Have a great night. See you! Card card na po. Salamat po. Thank you everyone. Salamat, salamat po. Salamat po. Thank you po. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ha? Pwede mag isang picture. I swear to you. Picture daw with the leg. Daw. Galing. Walang okay. tayo lahat, guys. Pa-picture daw. Walang tayo lahat. Walang tayo lahat. Ganda talaga ni Ayu. Kaya sir, mix. Ito ka nga. Yan. Ito ka nga. <laughs> Sino yung bibilang? Pabi, hey. ikaw na. Apa, kasi may sc- screenshot eh. Okay na po tayo lahat. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Thank you. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.